Good evening and welcome to Sunday night's Racing Post Greyhound TV, TV, TV even. Boy, have we got a treat for you this evening. It's going to be a lively one, I'm sure. I'm joined in the studio tonight by Rab McNair. I told him to get his bleep rude words in the studio and he has. Good evening, Rab. Nice to have you here. Good evening. Lots you're to lose, talk about, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. You're losing your words already. I'm losing because my words. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I must I'm, be sitting too close to you, Tony. <laughs> Maybe I should sit closer yeah, to I'll, you. No, nah, you're all right where you are. <laughs> Just seen the action from Toast. As I mentioned, you're a big fan of the track, aren't you? It's out of this world. I mean, I, 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 listen, I'm a big fan of every track. doesn't matter if it's at Harlow no long ago there. I know the track wasn't right and all the rest of it, but that, that's either there. I'm a fan of every track that stays open because mm. we need them. True. That when you, I mean, I'm a big fan of Wimbledon. I love Wimbledon to bits. I just think it's... It's been let go that far. It's been driven to that. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. They haven't spent a penny on it. They know what they're doing. They well, because it's either, it either goes or it's renovated. No, listen, the, the, the new 10 years ago what they were doing with Wimbledon, don't think this is just, boom, landed on us. They knew what they were doing 10 years. They knew when Gillard Holmes, Clive Feltham, bang, jumped into the same basket. They signed up the deal, right? So everybody knew then, Gillard Holmes, big company, Bank, they'll just sit there and bank it. Doesn't matter. I'm, I'm sorry to say we think Wimbledon will go, but if Boris can stop it, please. Mm. I mean, the Boris. thing is as well, we th toast to do ev everything right behind the scenes. I'm not a great fan of the actual track as it stands today. If you could pick Wimbledon up yeah. and put yeah, it in front, I, I think you'd have no, a great I, venue. I, 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 think, I think there's too many knockers out there, to be true for you, Tony. And, and I listen to the show and I, I hear that toast of this and toast of that. I mean, give the man some respect. Mm. Oh, no, I mean, no, the, man, the man is sitting there. Do you think he's sitting there, he has to spend money for a greyhound track? You're talking about Lord Heskey? Yes, mm. do you think he needs that? Mm. Well, give him the support. God, he's trying his hardest. He's built a super track. Don't be kidding. Never mind the knockers, but make it 500 metres. Mm. Make it 500 metres. I think metres. that's the plan, isn't it? Yes, yeah. I've spoke to Chris Page. I've spoke to them and, and the, the other, like Kevin Nackerman. Well, listen, you'll never meet as nice a boys. Every time I walk in the track, Kevin Ackerman's over. Thanks for, thanks for coming. Mm. You, we we yes. were in that final. Do you, think it, do you think it's too wide? The track. Yeah, I think it's too wide. I think it's it's made for eight dog racing, and these boys have got other plans. But if we were to go and talk about the derby going to Tausta, then I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for it because mm. the simple reason is it gives the ones in the north. They've been complaining, and I used to complain when I was travelling down. There were no bigger complainer when I had to travel mm. down for Scotland three times for the English derby. Tausta would be mm. easy. But make it 500 metres, have the boxes swinging out onto the track and make it the same distance from the six box to the hair rail as from the one box to the inside mm -hmm. rail. So as the boxes are sitting bang on centre of the track, so as the, if the dog's doing that and doing that, they can't turn around and say, oh, number six is turning right and it's got five yards to run before mm -hmm. it goes out there. See, so, do you know my take on it? I think... When you watch the races, the dogs that turn four, fifth, and sixth are not racing. They, 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 they just doesn't seem like they're in a race. Compared, you don't see changing of the leads. I would bet money if you run a Westmead Hawk or a Holden Spy around there, they wouldn't come through the pack of off the pace like they, they did went, at Wimbledon. They went, I just think that Bonnie did. And yeah, that's uh, yeah, but that's uh, distance uh, racing. Uh, it was five hundred meters. Don't you be kidding? On Westmead Hawk would run through a ploughed field. I'm not sure it's uh, toaster. Uh, I'm it, not sure listen, it's toaster. Well, tell me why, because. Let me tell you something, they get around Wimbledon, and Wimbledon's brilliant, they get held up in places, yet they run round that toaster, the six dogs can get into the bend side by side, side by side, and carry on. There's none of this, oh, the six dogs away, the five dogs away, side by side, and they just carry on. It's beautiful, it's brilliant. I do think they have to make it 500 metres, they've got, and I hear some of them saying, that's all right, that's only because you've got eating the kid. By the time, Toaster gets the derby, if they did get the derby, well, tell me this, where would you rather go? Bellevue? Have a look at the Oaks night. See how many dogs get knocked over at the first bend. So where would you suggest? 
I think I think Toaster have done very well in, in difficult circumstances. We know that they had a lot to overcome in terms of the planning of the track, and I think they're still looking to improve, which is what I like. They yes. recognise when things are not quite right, and they are aiming to keep improving. And Porky's, I think that answers your tweet, but, uh, that, that, uh, that little uh, rab outburst. We landed up there, well, on the Friday of the British Braid Derby, and thanks Stuart for getting up and going ahead, but invited into Lord Heskey's. I think this is a big race for Julie coming up here. <laughs> I, yeah. did you, I won an award for this. You and your balls got me in a lot of trouble. But me it was you and your balls. For those who don't know, let's remind everyone. That, oh, I, this, this is the actual award for Rab and his balls. In that's fact, no, I think you that's, can have this. That's no let's award. Let's remind the viewers of why. Now, if you want to know how a top trainer like Rab McNair prepares for a race like this phenomenally difficult fifth heat, well, it's for the big fat Chinese because the cafe here at Wimbledon is closed today, so you've got a rather nice tasty packet of balls in there that I'm going to let you get back to. And I've shared it with Julie. <laughs> I haven't had a ball yet. Let me no. just confirm that. Okay? No balls for Julie. <laughs> Oh dear, I tell you what, that is a good Chinese though, isn't it? Your yeah. balls are rather nice at yeah. that time of year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sweet and sour. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, let's, I dare say the comments will come in a bit. <laughs> yeah, let's know he turned over me now, they're not watching. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, listen, you've got to have a bit of fun. And, uh, it's another thing, uh, you, you can see why that they've tried to bring Wimbledon down when the likes of the trainers, I mean, that Chinese, you have no idea how busy it is. <laughs> oh, everybody out of the, the tracks <laughs> over at the Chinese, that shouldn't be happening. Why should I have to go over to the Chinese and pay 20 quid for a Chinese and sit out in the van? Why can't I walk into Wimbledon? I don't care if they charge me 20 quid, but give me something decent to eat. No Yenny's burgers and chips and fries. If I want that, I'll go to McDonald's. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, before so, you get there, yeah, stop off on the yeah, drive so, through. Yeah, so, I mean, I know. it's... In Henlow, I mean, you walk into Henlow there, I mean, big Kevin, and you go around, we're in the restaurant, they, 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 they run yeah. after yeah. you, you sit down there, you get a sirloin steak, you get everything, might as well, yeah, it's on the house. On the house, because mm -hmm. you're a trainer, you're going up there with a few nice dogs and all the rest of it. Anyway, Thanks, Rab. we share this trophy, Rab. We don't share the trade. We, we share the this balls. Is partly your <laughs> we share the balls. I'll see, I'll see you in the car. Listen, in Tony, May. I told you I'd book the twin room later on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, at a discounted rate as well. Uh, I had an email from Tina. Uh, Hi, guys, Julie and Rab. Rab touching on toaster. Yes, it does have the whole package. However, it's lacking an audience near the track. There is no atmosphere. It's coming across a bit cold. How can we get around that? That is a That's good point. Rubbish. That is a good point. That's rubbish. Go to the track. I've been out there I've and stand the there. I, does, I don't care. I, I, I'm a trainer out there. <laughs> and I stand there and I watch them there in the summer. They're standing up on that balcony. They're roaring. They're, 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 it's brilliant. I get that. I get that. But when you're at Wimbledon, literally, when that, that hair's coming for the derby, I can hardly stand up. My legs are shaking so much. Would yes. you really get that being so far from you? The imagine, you imagine Toaster. Now, I want people to have the imagination <laughs> that I've got. You imagine I don't want Towster. Your no, but I'm being true. <laughs> you imagine seven, eight thousand people in Towster. You imagine the, the horse track having a, a, a few nice horse races that day. Later on, a bit of razzmatazz or whatever, and that's one thing you do get at Towster. Yeah, a bit do. of razz, yeah, that yeah. Mark Chapman, blah, 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 and this and that. He's <laughs> brilliant. He, he, he is a bit of man, mate. You either love yeah, him or hate him. I think the Greyhound people love him. He knows how to produce it. And you imagine, I hear them talking about open top buses round the outside here, everything. That you're sitting up there, you're invited up into Lord Heskey's box, his personal box. The dinner was delicious. You couldn't thank him enough. I know we're showing, but he's appreciating us taking the product to his track. That's a, an appreciation to my owners. Yeah, my that. owners sat there that night, mm. brilliant photographs, mugs with the dogs on the mugs and everything. It's not a lot, but it was brilliant. They looked, it was so good for them. I think Tina's got a point though, but when Chris Page was on the programme a couple of weeks ago, he did say they'd possibly put stands closer to the track, open top buses. I think there'd be all sorts of shenanigans at Toaster and if they were to get the Imagine it, imagine it, Tony. After the derby, 
I'm not saying Robbie Williams or somebody like that. <laughs> that Can you good. imagine a, a concert after it? You would be saying in the dog's home, I'm, wait, I'm waiting to watch Robbie, I'm for a bit of dance or a bit of drink. <laughs> or a nice I'm group, up for that. Are, are you, you organising Robbie? Uh, no, I'm not saying just <laughs> Robbie, but the cars. Right, seven o'clock like at Henlow, Rab. We're going to do get involved. Emails down there, Yeah, we've had quite a few emails on Toaster tonight. I'll, I'll make this in a nutshell. John Schofield says, Hi, it's so refreshing to hear someone praising Toaster and Lord Heskiff. Rab, you are an advocate for ground racing. Tony, what track do you suggest could hold the derby as you seem so against Toaster? And this is not just on tonight's show that you've voiced this opinion. Please let us know this track where the dogs come from last to first on numerous occasions, please. We just sort of win a come from last to first at Henlow. Uh, so there's one. Uh, no, look, <laughs> I just think from a blank canvas, <laughs> from a blank canvas, to build a track, mm. I feel they missed a few tricks at Toaster. And no, let me let me just say, let me just say, I just feel that the racing, the dogs that are off the front, I feel it's a bit follow the follow the lead. I don't see any dogs ch the, the changing the changing of the leads. And at the, as the track stands today, I don't think the derby should be run there. I think Wimbledon. If Wimbledon was to stay open, it's to stay at Wimbledon. Listen, if Wimbledon oh, does stay open, the Derby's not going to move from anywhere. The Derby, mm. that, that's, a, that's not even a contest. Mm. The Derby stays at Wimbledon if Wimbledon stays open. Mm. But what these people are saying is, if Wimbledon closes, then... Yeah, I wouldn't have Toaster at the top of my list like everyone else. What would else. you have at top of oh, your list? Well, I'd, I'd put one more in front of Toaster. One more's a bookmaker on track. Can't have them. No, but I'm not. No. I'm just saying as a track. Forget who owns what and that. I'm on about as no, a, dog, a track that dogs have to run around. These people are not asking where you think. The, 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 they're, they're asking you where do you think the track, should, the, the derby should go, and you've got to take that into well, I'd account. Have it, I'd have it. I'd have it at Bellevue and Perry Bar over Toaster. I would. Ah. I would. Uh, that's my opinion. Uh, Come say. on, Tony. Honestly, honestly. <laughs> Tony, wait a minute. I'm going to ask you a, a serious question. You might like them prawn balls. No, I might even no. want to say I'm not I, a fan I'm, of these, I'm Brad. Gonna, I'm going to ask you a serious balls, question, actually. Tony. <laughs> if you have a look at the Oaks and look at how many dogs was knocked over, and you tell me the last time you seen a dog coming for off the pace at Bellevue, because I don't see it very often. No, I don't know. And I'm, how many times do you see them going into that? Now, you've got to imagine, this is this is not an, an A5 or an A4 or an A1 we're talking about. This is a derby that these fast dogs are going into that first bend together. I've nothing against Bellevue. If they have it at Bellevue, they have it at Bellevue. But they would need to do a lot with the track. They would ha seriously have to do a lot with the track. Then again, are they going to spend money in the track? Have they spent any money in the trap? Have they spent any money in Hull Green? Have they spent any money in Wimbledon? The answer there is no. Would you run the dog and the Derby dog at this moment in time in Bellevue? Over toast yes. I would at the moment. Right, Tony, that's why you're no training Greyhounds and why I am. <laughs> that's you told, Tony. Let's move on to the 7.15 at <laughs> Just... Uh, Refresh my Twitter and I've got 24 new <laughs> tweets, which have never happened before. I've got emails filled out. Keep, keep them coming in, I'll do our best to get through all of them. We knew this was going to happen uh, this listen, evening. Listen, as long as they're not out that door waiting to shoot Ralph when he gets out of the night. <laughs> Spin through a few, Tony, if you want. Paul Wilson's been on. Uh, Newcastle should be the next track for the derby. Great surface, fair all round, get big crowds. Now, Newcastle would be ideal. Bootmaker on track. Yeah. You cannot have no. the monopoly of the bootmakers deciding what's going to win the derby. If they say, I, I, know, I know, listen, you talk about it all the time, Tony, about the bias to the inside, the bias to the outside, and all the rest of it. We can't have bootmaker having the monopoly of the track. Mm -hmm. The sponsor of the derby, surely they can't run it at the same track. I sure. That's my opinion. I've got Kevin has. That the, the night they were at Wimbledon and they couldn't get the two dogs in the race. And, uh, you know they were in the boxes for a while and I ran over to the boxes to try and... I was going to pull my dog out and I looked around to see where Kevin was but I, I seen Kevin was away over by the knock-off and I thought he'll not make it back to the boxes yeah. to get no, it, it was a long, It was a long <laughs> time there. Yeah, right. But when I, when I looked around and seen where Kevin was, because Kevin was praying and I thought... There'll be in another ah. ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I just I may as well put this in. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Tony, you got loads of emails. Uh, Steve Smith's been on. Uh, I've seen this a lot over the last few weeks, especially at Henlow and Yarmouth. Uh, with Yarmouth short of dogs and many middles in trap two and Henlow short of wides with railers in trap four. 
Uh, there's no comments of where dogs are going, ever like rails or wide. To get around this, shouldn't the GBGB put in a neutral racing manager as well as the tracks racing manager and put their own comments, then go through them together as this has got to be sorted? I mean, it can be lazy sometimes. You just see certain comments like bump one. Medal and... Uh, uh, it, yeah. it, it can be frustrating, um, but there are... It's just... There's, there's lots of dogs that are running in, in, in wrong boxes. And we yeah. also had lately withdraw dogs. How do you feel I don't on the subject blame, of I, I, don't, I don't blame this. And, uh, and I keep hearing comments that the, the, the seeding should be taken off the trainers and, and should be going to the GBGB. Right? Well, that's wrong. But what about the withdrawal of dogs? That, Say you've got uh, a bad draw, do you think it's right? That you that's should... a load of crap, that. If I, I would be withdrawing dogs every week if that was the case. Yeah. I hear them talking about this, and I, I, I think I've seen Tony yeah. Collette. No, but on safety and... grounds, if they feel that if you was drawn in trap four yeah. and you felt the three dog was a wide runner, do you feel that you've got the right to pull of your dog out? Of course you have. We, we have to wake up in the morning. They met a GBGB, you have not to wake up in the morning and say, where's the dog at then? It's lying there in bits because we have got the So right. they need to get the seedings correct? No, we need to get the seedings. Not them, it's nothing to do with them. Why should they need to be seeding our dogs? So you feel the trainers need to yeah, know the seeding of their dogs? of dog? course they do. And I see Tony Collette get fined 100 quid, Paul Young get fined a monkey for withdrawing their dogs. Come on. But do, you think, do you think there's some tactical seeding going on then? What do you mean practical? Listen, tactical. 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 I, 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 of course there is. If I go to more and more with a middle runner and I think he's middle to rails, I'll see them rails. Mm. If he's middle to middle, I would see them rails. If he was a wide, wide runner, I would see them wide. Uh, wide. But uh, when you go to more, not just more and more, there's tracks here that you would try and... The, 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 the places that you would go to, you go to Hove and you would see your dog properly because you've got that good run to the corner. If you go to Wimbledon, you see your dog properly. And by the way, if you see your dog wrong at Wimbledon, Gary would tell you, it's not running. Well, Bob Rowe would yeah, say, your dog's yeah, a your wide, dog's he's a running, middle, he's a rouse. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, you're, mm. you're a non runner. Mm. And that would be hit. So I think racing managers, I mean, you wouldn't get away with that with Peter Adow. You imagine, you'd, Peter, I'm not running my dog no more because you've gone the wrong boats. Can what Peter would tell you? You'll not be back in the place. Mm. Oh, keep your dogs. So you feel that the buck stops with the stop, should start with the trainer does. and stop with the trainer? Of course it does. I hear them, I hear them on this programme gibbering on about the, taking this off the trainers, taking that off the trainers. Loody crap. Crap. That's what it is. Get them up in the morning to feed the dogs and see how the position of dogs is in and then ask them to, oh, it's all right for them up. And by the way, I think they did it to GBGB. They've got enough to do in their plate. They've got enough going on up here without having that as a, as a, a bit of pain for them to with the position they're in. When you watch what's going on here just now, the amount of money that's getting spent and what's happening, they're supposed to be sorting this industry out. This is another thing I've got to go into. I go to the awards. I've been there three or four times. The last time I was there, one of the times I went, Lord Lisby was up on the stage. The greyhounds are healthy. It's a healthy industry. We've got 14 million. Ever since Lord Lipson's left, in comes Barry. I've nothing against Barry. He's not doing the job. He's been in there for, what, four years now? He stands up there year after year. All we hear is, it's going to be difficult times in front of us. Mm. Well, funds now down to 7 million or whatever it is. The trainers is half. They're gone. They've got out. I read in the calendar this week, 44 more trainers gone. How can you expect them to come into this sport? Mm, they're no, going, no. they're leaving. It's a sinking ship. It's going down. Don't get near it. Stay back. Tom Kelly's come in to try and increase the funds. Tom, obviously, Tom's been in a year now. No, wait, let, let, let me hear this. I've heard all this crap He's saying again. his priority is to get money in for bookmakers. That's what he's working on. Well, sort it out with Betfair. Sort it out with well, he's he's year for, do, He's it? had a year to sort it out with Betfair. I think he's Barry trying. Fulton, uh, uh, Barry Fulton has had four years to sort it out with Betfair. Nobody sorted nothing out. But in Tom this Kelly game. was the best position man to try, wasn't he? Morris Watkins was the best man in the position. Did he do it? No. But Tom, Tom, Tom is talking to we'll them. We'll give Tom another year. We'll gladly give him another year, and we'll see what happens. To see, but. I, I don't see what's happening in this game. The, the things happening in this game, I don't even understand because I'm not an educated man. I'm not educated. So I can't say this and that and all the rest of it. There's one thing I do know. I don't understand how they can vote 
Rekke Holloway of our board. This is our board. We voted him on. How have they got the rights to vote him out? They hadn't got that right. They haven't, have they? Surely no. Well, surely if that's the case, Maggie Thatcher would have kicked Arthur Scargo into touch. Mm -hmm. She would have told him, <laughs> out. Now, come on. If I'm, a, if I'm your shop steward, and I work, and you vote me in, and I get into a meeting, and they turn around and tell me, we're not having a meeting. I don't think they'd have you, Rev. Right, what happens? <laughs> we walk. We walk. Well, this is the same thing. Mm. They have not got... Listen, a vote in no confidence, if that's the case, I'm sorry to say, and I don't like bringing up names, but Barry, I don't think the vote's here for you. Johnny Haynes, I don't think the vote's here for you. I don't know what you do. There are a lot of people asking me the same question, what do these people do? We don't know. Try and show us. If you show us what you do, and let us put it out there, then we would maybe sit back and say, yeah, I'm doing a good job. Talking of votes of no confidence, Reb, my nap's running here, so I think there's a lot of people <laughs> out there thinking, I've got no confidence in this free dog, so... I Well, a few tweets coming in here as well. Uh, Rusty Catflap says, My only association with greyhounds is adopting and retired, but at least, but I have to say that Rab talks perfect sense about Toaster. And one here from Porkies as well, he says that the damaging rift between the GTA and GBGB is ongoing. Short of Rab banging their heads together, is there a way forward? He says it's in deadlock. Of course, there's a way forward because, listen, they have no right to vote uh, on our position. So basically, what you're saying is, you know, like I might have work colleagues I don't get on with, but you have to get on with it. Of course that's you do. Your job. What's the matter here? What, the, the question I would like to ask them, Barry and Johnny that voted them out and Mr Curran, uh, listen, I know you are but what's the matter here? Is he asking the right questions? Is he asking the questions that we want asked and they don't like the answer? So, oh, wait a minute, bye. No, no, it's not happening because I'm telling you right now, you are standing up against have us. You, have you ever asked the question to Barry? Ask what question? What you just posed? Yes, I've asked. What's the problem? What's happening? No, I've asked him what's happening in the industry. To but Barry Faulkner? I've spoke to Barry a few times. I haven't spoke to Barry for a few years because I used to train dogs for Barry, but I was expecting to see things happening before now. And all I hear every year when I go to the words, we face a difficult year in front of us. Well, I don't want... Have we face a difficult year? Betfair and Paddy Power, 8.5 billion. Billion. We're not talking million. We're talking billion. How much do they put into the sport? All in here for the 7.30 at Henlow. Listen, she'll go for the, the, the British Breeders Sprint that Stuart and that's got as a, a nice sponsor between uh, the, the British Bread for at Wimbledon with William Hill and got to thank William Hull for stepping in there and Stuart for doing, promising and doing what he promises because that is, this is one lad that stepped into the fore here, promised as he was, he was trying to do this and promised as he was doing that and big hats off to Stuart, he's standing up to his promises, not like some people. The tweets coming in as you would expect, uh, Mac Marr and Armchair owners both been in touch with support for Newcastle as their preferred Derby track. Uh, Steve Reed says, uh, speaking the truth again, Rab McNair, about time people sit up and listen. He's a top trainer. He says, us Scottish doggy men speak the truth. And uh, Gary McIver enjoyed uh, Rab saying the word dobber. He said he made him collapse with laugh laughter. <laughs> it's great to hear uh, a proper accent. What is a dobber? I a dobber. <laughs> Can you say? Keep it clean. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> no, should we move uh, on? No, I, I just, I just um, uh, have a bit of care away with the twins. I don't only four year old, uh, I mean, they're, they're brilliant. And same with Jake and that, and I, I, I say to, I'll maybe say to Lachlan, what are you saying? You're a bam, he'll say, I'm a bam, Papa. And Lachlan and Lyle will jump for it. But Papa, I'm a dauber, I'm a dauber. Oh, what does it mean? Uh, it's just a word. If you're a dauber, you're a dauber, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm a dauber, I'm a dauber. There are a lot of people out there who will be saying, Tony a he's a dauber. I'm not a dauber. <laughs> <No, well, laughs> listen, let me, yeah, tell you yeah, right, let me tell you something. Yeah, let me tell you something. 
probably all as it's in, involving greyhound racing. The way it is the new, we're probably all dobbers. We're all right. We're right. I'll, we're I'll no take right. dobber off of you because <laughs> I've been called a lot worse. <laughs> uh, I'm going to scoot through a few more here. Bolt says, can we have Rab on every night, please? Henrietta says, loving Rab. Great show already. Messi says, this sports need, needs more passion like him. Tyrannis Rex, bravo Rab McNair, enough said. And uh, yeah, Henrietta says, in fact, I'm calling it early. She says, it's the best show ever. All thanks to uh, our guest. But see, this is some of the things you, the, the, the people out there don't understand. I'm truly passionate for this game. I was brought up, I was born and bred, like a lot of the pops, I was born and bred into this game with my dad. My dad was great at it. He was, he'd done his jobs, he'd, he'd survived on it. But what people don't understand is, Ricky's got the same passion. Ricky's got that passion, and that's what's the matter with the people. They, they, they realise the passion he's got and he's not going to let it go. Now, I, I, I think to myself, and year after year, Tony, I've got to say to you that year after year, the trainers in this, this game, and the owners especially, have suffered badly. Every year we hear it, every year it's looking very difficult for the year ahead. We're going to have difficult times. Have you been practising this impression? No, but I'm, I'm fed up here. <laughs> no, but look, let's hope it's 2016. Yeah. It's out in the open now. Yeah. Let's hope but it's out. But what I'm going to say to you is, is the them right at the top, are they at the top finding it difficult? Are they going to step forward and say, well, listen, listen, trainers, mm. we haven't deserved the wages we're on. So what we're going to do is we're going to half them until we get this situation sorted out. And Steady, I don't know what Barry's on, I don't know what Tom Kelly's on, I'm quite sure they're on a lot more than me, they might be in, what, 80, 90 grand a year, I don't know, I might just be guessing, that's off the top of my head. But why don't they step forward, because I know if I was in that position, I would stand up and say, listen lads, I'm trying my hardest, but to prove that I'm trying my hardest, I'll half my wages. I'll half them and put the other half back into the fund. And I'm not just talking about Barry, I'm not just talking about Tom Kelly, I'm talking about every day. Half the wages. Because we're in half idea. wages. Interesting idea. I think we're going to get a lot of thoughts on that one. We're in, in half meantime, wages. Rav, Rav, Gary Ivor says he thinks you're going to burst a blood vessel. Calm down. Yeah. Calm right, down. we've got big issues we're <laughs> talking about. The biggest issue, are you going to tip us a winner tonight? All uh, your fans. Uh, yeah. uh, Chris Mooney's been on. How rude is this man? Tell him, because you shout the loud, this doesn't make you right. It's always stood me in good ground. <laughs> <up in here>. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Carl's been on. Hi guys, just tuned in to see Rab in full flow, talking sense and saying um, it how it is. There are certain trainers and owners in the sport who should have some input into how the sport is run and Rab is certainly one of them. He's right about trainers leaving the sport. I would love to have had a go on my own or carried on working for Mark Wallace, but with a wife and two young boys to support, I can make a lot more being a professional driver. Surely that cannot be right for the, or good for the future of the sport. That's from Carl. Uh, Sam Humphreys has been on. Hi guys, could you give massive congratulations to Alan Jones from Wrexham, who has just started a career in Greyhound training. He's 62 years of age today. <laughs> Please give him a shout out. He's a huge fan of the show. Thank you. Without See, we're talking about training and one joining Alan, the Alan, let me tell you something. Alan's probably made his money. He's no come into this game at 62-year-old to make money, has he? I mean, what I would say, that I, I hear it all the time on the show. Uh, you ask your guests, how, uh, how would you advise young youngins to come into this game? And the, the only one bit of advice I would say, if you're young, stick in at school. If you're going to come into the Greyhound sport, come in, come into the GBGB. It's only ones that's not losing money. Do not, do not come in as a trainer. Do not come in as a kennel hand because listen, if you're in the sea and you see a ship sinking, you don't swim towards it. This ship is sinking. With the way it is just now, this ship is going down big time. And one more trainer, Pat curtin has been on. Evening, Julie Tony, and of course, we pal Rabster. Great to see him on the sofa this evening. He says it all as it is and has voiced opinions shared by many in the industry at present. At least when Rab's on, he talks for all the trainers, the whole spectrum from trainers at non-bags track, contract trainers at higher profile tracks and higher profile open race trainers that run at all tracks. He knows the sport inside out. Great fella, great trainer. Great value, loving the show. Well, great value, four to seven, looking yeah. for his listen, first winner tonight, listen, Rev. I, if, if I get this in eight, I don't care if it's 47. I'm, I'm having a boom. You know I'm having a boom. You the boom. <laughs> I'm definitely having, I don't care. It can be one to ten, ten to one on, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I'm there, taking that. There are loads of similar tweets coming in. Litland says, uh, Rev speaking for most of the people in the sport. Toad says, Rev says he's 
not educated, but he's honest and that's better. Well said, Rab. There are thousands in the UK that agree with you. You can boom now, <laughs> Rab. Boom! <laughs> Danish Duke wins. And a very short prize, but a winner's a winner. Uh, this Greyhound uh, was pushed all the way by three at one point. Uh, was three that looked, Pat's nap? Three looked in a was that his position. Lay? No, that was his lay. That was Pat's oh, lay, unfortunately. Pat. But Danish Duke has won. And uh, you were both on, so well done. As I said, a winner's a winner. You sounded like Mike Reed there without our oh, Pat. Well, listen, but... I know, I know, but let me tell you something. Pat's one of the nicest people in this game, isn't he? He's so nice and so gentle, and he tries to treat everybody alike. He's good. But, nah, Pat, I don't know where your head is there tonight. I mean, that, that was a, a complete stick on, and the only reason I wouldn't nap it is because it was so short, and they can pick them. But, Pat, to go and try and lay it, come on. I know you want to lay the short ones like that, but. No, no, that was a winner all the way. Go on, my son. Uh, I've had a tweet here. I just want to reply to this from uh, Balked. He says, why does the studio try to shut Rap up when he talks about matters that concern <laughs> grassroots greyhound fans? It's because we've got live racing to show. No other reason. We're not shutting Rap up at all. We're like uh, Gary Slater, been on. Great to see a proper dog man on the sofa. Agree with everything he says. I would love to have trained a few grands in my own name, but since leaving the sport two years ago, I worked less hours for twice as much money. Uh, no chance whatsoever of young people coming into the game, not unless they have won the lottery or do it for a hobby. Good luck, Rab, and give my best to Liz, a lovely woman. That's what yeah, like well that. done, Gary, and all I can see is, if I had to walk into a supermarket, any supermarket, and start starting shelves for the amount of hours that I do, we would all be in a lot of money. Mm. And I get well looked after. Listen, I'm no, it's seen anything bad against the lads that I work for because I'm in a different position for yeah, a lot yeah, of the lads. Yeah, I get yeah. well, I get well thought of and well looked after for my lads. Uh, I've got some special there, you know what I mean. But I had to work hard yeah. to get yeah. that situation. Yeah. And you still know what's going on with yeah. everyone else in the sport. I, I know, I know how mm. many people are struggling, and I know boys out there they'd be better going in the supermarkets. Mm. When we go to the sad, here we go. There's approaching. Gates lift there, and as they make their way towards this first bend, they're bunching up. One will try and grab the lead from five. It's now five and one that go under the box together as they hit the fourth last turn, and now five just about nosing ahead now. Black Rose Crockett leads by nostril there from the one, then a gap back to two, then six. Ryan Cruz Sid trying to burst through. Approaching the second last bend, and now Sid has got a nice run through there. One leads up from six, then back to two. Coming towards the final bend, they swing off the turn, straighten up one with Sid putting his head down. Line comes up, Sid's going to get there. Six beats one and two back in third. Well, on a track we think might be on the sleigh side, that was a fantastic run from Ring Crew. Says uh, again, another winner for Eric Cantil, and he trains and owns this one. And uh, tipped up by Rab McNair, was that your next best? Uh, I think it was. I think, that, is that me who had my nap and my next best? Yeah, yeah you, absolutely. You've, you've had the nap I've and, had, and, I've had and, and you had an extra winner to boot. And listen, <laughs> and that's for a man sitting next to me that says I'm no good at napping. And is your lay of the day lost as well? Has that been yet? Uh, what was my, no, my lay of the day, lay of the day still was to Quiver's Bliss. You, they say good things come to those who wait, Rab. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, little Liz didn't have to wait too long. <laughs> <laughs> They broke me down a trophy there. I'm not being funny at that, but because I'm only a kennel hand and I go to the awards or the rest of it, we Baz and Lynn, the, well, yeah. Debbie, they got me a trophy for the second best kennel hand in the country. <laughs> and they actually got me a trophy and everything. I've got it in Pride and Joy up uh, there. Uh, there's some team now. Maybe we'll get a nomination uh, next year. L listen, I don't do it for the nominations. I, I'm, I'm happy enough the way I'm going about and doing it. And I love to see the likes of... Gemma and all the rest there. I know that oh, no, they're, they're, really they're, they're in a lot more difficult positions than I am. And I would love, I love to see the likes of the people getting the, the, the rewards that yeah. they deserve because they do do everything. And I have to ask you about the puppies you've got at your place at the moment because there's quite a few litters. And uh, first of all, I think the eldest of them all would be Skaton and Tully Mariak. No, 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 no. I've got uh, 10 in the kennel just now. I brought them in about a month ago there. I've got eight, four dogs oh, so and four older. bitches. You've got three little litters, haven't yeah. you? Okay, so, yeah. so go for the older ones first. I've got four uh, four dogs and four bitches out of uh, Troopy Scalari okay. and Shaw's Dilemma. Yeah. And I've got two bitches there. They're coursing breeding. They're Central City out uh, of Brendan's Good Coursing Bitch. 
Uh, I forget her name, she was favourite for the Oaks in the Clown Mill. But my intentions there is, I kept two bitches back because I'm going to introduce the coursing back into the, the, the racing greyhound. So this is why these were kept back. But they're going off to get school tomorrow. These, why have you decided to do that? Just a bit because I think it's lacking. I think they're lacking in the coursing blood and the racing greyhound. They used to do it years and years ago. The, the, all the dogs had a bit of coursing blood in it for the temperament and the speed. And I've decided that the, the bitch, I, if I could remember the bitch, she was a great bitch. She was favourite for the the Oaks in Ireland up, up the field and we, we turned a few letters off her, but I've kept back two bitches here and I, 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 probably next year or the year after. It's a, it's a long term plan, five, six year plan, but what I would probably do with her is meet her to, I'll, I'll, I'll meet one of these bitches mm. to a racing dog and try, you know, mm. you, but years ago when you used to look at a breeding, three generations, there was coursing. Yeah. That brought, that, and that brought out pure raw speed mm. and everything about them. Mm. So I'm trying, I'm going to bring that back in. Right, that'll be breeding. interesting. Yeah. What, what, what else? My next letter is Tully Murray Act out of Skate On, yeah. six bitches and one dog and beautiful, yeah. absolutely. Tremendous, couldn't ask for any better. They're, they're healthy, they're brilliant lookers. She a good mum? Ah, she was brilliant. Was she? She, was abs she was absolutely fabulous. Couldn't say nothing bad about her. She had yeah. great milk on her. She was a great mother to them. A bit protective, but when she knew, a bit protective for a wee while, and then it was, oh, mm. yeah, here we go. And, <laughs> the, then, and then the love story of your Canada side from you and uh, Lemonade Turbo yeah, and Tiger Tots. Lemonade Turbo, we mated her to Tiger Tots. Lemonade Turbo, we sent him up to Ronnie Gray. He's standing at Stud up in Newcastle. And uh, she have loads of early Well, uh, I'll tell you something right now. Tiger Tots, she just went out, bingo, bingo, bingo. When, uh, when she done it, she done it. And she uh, was quite hypo, wasn't she? Was she? Oh, she, she, she was brilliant. Was she was. She? she was. And the, the dad was, he's hypo day, leaving eye turbo, but what a greyhound he was. Yeah. Got to be one of the, he's got to be up there with one of the best uh, yeah. because if people had seen the damage to him that was there yeah. and we nursed him through it and what he'd done after that, 28 20, I think he'd done 28 25 in the Veterans Derby final night, over four year old. I mean, what a greyhound he was. And then I've just had an hour letter there. They're just a week old. They're out of Lemonade Turbo, out of Pretty Fantasy. And was there just two in the litter? There was, there was, there was three in the litter, but she, she lay down in one of them. And oh. So we, we lost that bit. Uh, there's a dog in the bitch left just now. And every day, every day, our Liz comes in, she says, I can't believe. You, they're a week old, you have to lift them like that. You can't lift they're them. Massive. They're massive. I'm no kidding you, Tony. They're fatter than us. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, Tony. They're bigger bellies. Wait till you hear the tweets you get now. <laughs> oh, they're absolute beauties. I'm not kidding you. I, I couldn't say enough about them now. Exciting times Very, ahead. very Sounds exciting. Like some really, really nice listeners at Rabs. 9.15 at Hello. I might have to come along and see them sometime. And absolutely brilliant. But it's been great to have Rab on the show. I can't believe his favourite chocolate bar, I don't think you can see that. Time out. It's a time out. <laughs> Unbelievable, <laughs> Jeff, as Chris Kamara would say. <laughs> uh, been enjoy it. We've really enjoyed your company. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. It's been a brilliant evening. Yeah, it's always great to come here and all the rest of it. And sometimes I go over the top and speak. I think, I think it, it's been very well received tonight. Yeah, Everybody's it, agreed it's with It's a very passionate thing. Views. And uh, uh, what I would like to say before I do go, if, Mr. Faulkner, or Mr. Kelly, and the rest of the board, boys up at the board, want to give me a call and tell me that they're half in their wages, it would be <laughs> grandly appreciated by all the trainers because the way the trainers are running about just now and half wages and all the rest of it, I think it's only be fair that the top of the tree start and cut the cloth the way it's meant to go. So, so that's I'm I'm not going to keep ranting on about it. Let's go on with the future, but. If there is a future, if they don't get this sorted out, and let me one last word, don't think you can get Ricky that quick. He's ours, we support him, and he's staying. And it doesn't matter whether you vote him off, because we will stand together and we'll vote you out. <laughs> that's we decide yeah. who runs this, and that's my last word on it. Right, listen.
bet365.com, Betfair, Betfred, Coral, Labrooks, Tote Pool and William Hill bring you Racing Post Greyhound TV.